Erica Johnson. Just now. Shared with public. The Sacred Rihanna. Origins. Chapter 1. The Shadow in the Mirror. The village of Kampung Tuolang was nestled deep within the rainforests of Indonesia, a place where the line between the natural and supernatural was often blurred. The villagers were accustomed to the mysterious and the unexplainable, accepting ghost stories and supernatural occurrences as part of their daily lives. But nothing had prepared them for Rihanna. Rihanna was a quiet girl, always lingering in the shadows, her eyes downcast, avoiding the prying gaze of the villagers. Her pale complexion and long, jet-black hair made her look like a ghost herself, and many whispered that she was touched by the otherworldly. Her mother, Sari, had raised Rihanna alone, always keeping a watchful eye on her daughter. Sari knew the secrets that the village whispered about but never spoke aloud. She knew because she had seen the darkness in Rihanna's eyes, the strange occurrences that followed her. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and shadows crept into their small home, Sari found Rihanna standing in front of an old mirror that had belonged to her grandmother. The mirror was rumored to be a portal to the spirit world, a relic from a time when the village's shaman practiced ancient, forbidden rites. Rihanna, what are you doing? Sari asked, her voice trembling. Rihanna turned slowly, her eyes dark and unfathomable. I saw her again, mother. The woman in the mirror. Sari felt a chill run down her spine. What did she say? She told me I have a gift, and a curse. That I am the sacred Rihanna. Chapter 2, The Gift. Rihanna's gift began manifesting in subtle but unmistakable ways. Objects moved on their own, whispers filled the air when she was near, and animals behaved strangely around her. The villagers' whispers grew louder, and fear began to overshadow their curiosity. One day, while walking through the market, Rihanna encountered a group of children playing. They teased her, calling her names and mocking her pale skin and eerie demeanor. But Rihanna did not react with anger. Instead, she fixed her gaze on the ringleader, a boy named Agus. Agus suddenly froze, his eyes widening with fear. He clutched his chest and collapsed to the ground, gasping for breath. The other children screamed and ran for help. Sari, who had been nearby, rushed to her daughter's side. Rihanna, what have you done? Sari whispered, horror and fear mingling in her voice. I didn't mean to, mother, Rihanna replied, tears streaming down her face. I just wanted them to stop. The village healer, Pak Dato, arrived and managed to revive Agus, but the incident left the villagers shaken. Pak Dato approached Sari later that evening. Sari, your daughter is different, he said gravely. She has powers that we do not understand. She must learn to control them, or she will bring great harm to herself and others. Chapter 3, The Curse. As Rihanna's powers grew, so did the darkness within her. She began to see visions, glimpses of a world beyond, filled with spirits both benevolent and malevolent. She would often wake in the middle of the night, her room filled with whispers and shadows. One night, Rihanna was visited by the woman in the mirror again. The woman's face was obscured, but her voice was clear and commanding. You must embrace your destiny, Rihanna. You are the bridge between worlds. But beware, for great power comes with great peril. Rihanna woke with a start, her heart pounding. She knew she could no longer ignore her gift. She needed to understand it, to control it. She turned to Pak Dato for guidance. Pak Dato, please help me, she pleaded. I need to learn how to control my powers. Pak Dato nodded. There is an ancient temple deep in the forest, where the old shamans once practiced their arts. You must go there and seek the guidance of the spirits. They will help you understand your gift and your curse. Chapter 4, The Temple. Rihanna embarked on her journey to the temple, accompanied by Sari and Pak Dato. The forest was dense and foreboding, filled with the sounds of unseen creatures and the whispers of spirits. As they traveled deeper, the air grew colder, and the sense of being watched intensified. After several days, they reached the temple, an ancient, crumbling structure covered in vines and moss. The air was thick with the presence of spirits, and Rihanna could feel their eyes upon her. Pak Dato led her to the heart of the temple, where an altar stood, covered in ancient symbols and offerings to the spirits. He began to chant, 
calling upon the spirits for guidance. The air grew heavy, and the shadows around the altar began to move. The woman from the mirror appeared, her face still obscured but her presence undeniable. Rihanna, you have come, the woman said. You seek to understand your power, to control it. But know this, your journey will be filled with darkness and light, and you must embrace both to fulfill your destiny. Rihanna stepped forward, her fear replaced by determination. I am ready, she said. Teach me. Chapter 5 The Training The training was grueling, pushing Rihanna to her limits both physically and mentally. She learned to communicate with spirits, to harness their power and bend it to her will. She faced her darkest fears and confronted the malevolent spirits that sought to consume her. Sari and Pak Dato watched over her, providing support and guidance. They saw the toll it took on Rihanna, but they also saw her strength and resilience. Months passed, and Rihanna's powers grew. She could now move objects with a mere thought, control the elements, and even glimpse the future. But with each new ability came a deeper understanding of the darkness within her. One night, as she meditated by the altar, the woman from the mirror appeared again. You have come far, Rihanna, she said. But your greatest challenge lies ahead. The darkness within you is strong, but so is the light. You must find the balance, or risk being consumed by the shadows. Rihanna nodded, her resolve unwavering. I will find the balance. I will not let the darkness consume me. Chapter 6 The Confrontation Word of Rihanna's powers spread, and soon, those who sought to exploit her abilities came to the village. A group of men, led by a powerful and ruthless shaman named Joko, arrived with the intent to capture Rihanna and use her powers for their own gain. Joko was a man consumed by ambition and greed, his own powers dark and twisted. He saw Rihanna as the key to ultimate power, and he would stop at nothing to possess her. The village prepared for the confrontation, rallying around Rihanna and her family. Sari, Pak Dato, and the villagers stood together, ready to defend their home and protect Rihanna. The night of the confrontation was dark and stormy, the air crackling with tension. Joko and his men approached the village, their eyes gleaming with malicious intent. Rihanna stepped forward, her powers surging within her. Leave this place, she commanded, her voice filled with authority. You will not take me. Joko laughed, a cruel and mocking sound. You are powerful, girl, but you are not invincible. Surrender now, and I may spare your village. Rihanna's eyes blazed with determination. I will never surrender. The battle that ensued was fierce and brutal. Rihanna fought with all her strength, her powers clashing with Joko's dark magic. The villagers rallied around her, fighting to protect their home. In the midst of the chaos, Rihanna felt the darkness within her rising, threatening to consume her. She closed her eyes, seeking the balance she had worked so hard to achieve. She felt the light within her, the strength and resilience that had carried her this far. With a final surge of power, Rihanna unleashed a wave of energy that shattered Joko's dark magic and sent him and his men fleeing into the night. Chapter 7 The Aftermath The village of Kampung Tuolang was left in ruins, but the spirit of its people remained unbroken. They had faced the darkness and emerged stronger for it. Rihanna stood at the center of the village, her eyes filled with a mix of exhaustion and triumph. She had faced her greatest challenge and emerged victorious. She had found the balance within herself and proved that she was worthy of the title The Sacred Rihanna. Sari and Pak Dato stood beside her, their faces filled with pride and relief. They had watched Rihanna grow from a frightened girl into a powerful and confident young woman. You have done well, Rihanna, Pak Dato said, his voice filled with admiration. You have faced the darkness and emerged victorious. Rihanna nodded, her eyes shining with determination. But this is only the beginning. There are still many challenges ahead, and I must continue to grow and learn. Sari placed a hand on her daughter's shoulder, her eyes filled with love and pride. We will always be here for you, Rihanna. You are never alone. Chapter 8 New Beginnings The village began the process of rebuilding, their spirits lifted by the knowledge that they had a powerful protector in their midst. Rihanna continued her training, honing her abilities and deepening her understanding of the balance between light and darkness. 
She knew that her journey was far from over, but she was no longer. Like. Comment. Share.